<laughs> oh. Holy shit, that was funny. <laughs> tears in my eyes. Uh-oh. Not a good sign. Uh. <sighs> that was funny. wasn't as funny as la as the last one. Hang on. Still got tears in my eyes. <sighs> that had to be one of the funniest deaths I've ever had. <laughs> that was a close one. Tail to smack that because I know that's a bunch of coins. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still laughing over that death. Uh, yeah, I should probably take the bridge. Skip a, f skip a few levels, and it's a big bird stage. Sorry, boss bass. Big bird is underwater. Boss bass is above. It's above water. Also, I don't think swimming will help because I'm ninety percent convinced. He's faster than me. But yeah, going on, going on to what I asked before. Uh, is there actually a type of fish that would eat a frog? I suppose it would, it would have to be a fish that I'm... Uh, I suppose the... Shit. I suppose it would have to be a fish that lives near... Um, that lives near um, uh, areas where frogs would typically migrate towards. But even then, I don't think there are any fish big enough for that. This is probably gonna. This is probably gonna, gonna have to be something I, I YouTube, YouTube or Google later. Well, if I want to, anyway. <laughs> I, I'm just curious. That's all. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Maybe we should pack the star. Wow, that was a double whammy. Here's the question, will the star kill the boss bass? Ah, uh, screw it, let's give it a try. Not that it matters, anyway, he comes back fast. Well confirmed, it takes him out. But he comes back insanely fast. Believe me, that star helped. Alright. 
Stage 9. This one... This one's probably one of my favorite levels in this game, just because... I'm just because, like, this is the one level that actually strip gives you a frog suit in the middle of the stage. And... That's literally it. I just remember this one, like, sticking out to me the most when I was a kid. I honestly never get tired of this game's soundtrack. Especially because I'm a... I don't know what you would call the instruments. Or at least the theme of this song. Because, like, it's not 8 bits. Far from it. This is... It feels almost like... Ah. Uh, what are types of drums called that make them, uh... Th those unique sounds that doesn't sound like a banging sound? Um... Oh, what am I thinking of? It's something you, it's one of those types of songs you would expect in like Hawaii, like someplace tropical. Uh, the name escapes me. Anyway, time for Wendy. sure why, but the layout of these airships uh, don't come to mind until the moment I see them. Shit. Yeah, like, I forget what each airship is until the moment I see it. I can never, I can never memorize it in my head beforehand to help with it. Not that it matters anyway. It's just, I'm, uh, just thinking aloud, really. Lovely. That was terrible. The king's been transformed. Please find the magic one so we can change him back. Hey! Because I kind of overused saying that in, in the other times I've been playing it, I've kind of stopped. Besides, it's kind of weird to say it on my own. keeps being around the beginning area, but... Can't be helped, I suppose. It I'm just not playing as well as I'd like. To be fair, I don't think I've been playing terribly. I'm just not playing good enough. Nice try, Rocky. Adrian! <laughs> I've never watched a single Rocky movie. To be fair, 
I don't think I'm missing much. It's like, to be absolutely honest, like, I'm not a movie person. Like, the movie... So, for me to go to the cinemas to watch a movie, it has to be something insanely specific. Of, um, to get my attention, or to at least get me to watch it in the cinemas. Right. Nowadays, the only thing that really does that is some um, uh, Marvel. And even then, I don't watch all their movies. Get down the damn pipe, you fat plumber. All right. When is going to be one of the roughest? Case in point. And just for the record, no, I'm not putting a safe state in the middle of a stage. That's cheating. This airship theme is good, but it doesn't beat any of the newer ones, honestly. We start making it more orchestral, because I think the new series has one of the best airship themes. Come to think of it, there hasn't really been a new 2D Mario game since you. Then again. I honestly would not be surprised if the reason Mario Maker exists is because they're burnt out of making 2D Mario games. So they wanted the community to make them instead. I genuinely would not be surprised. I also wouldn't be surprised if it was also a response to a uh... What the hell? I also would not be a be surprised if it was a response to ROM hacks. It was like, in some cases, to make it easier for people to make their own stages, but also make them more balanced. So, it gives them a future platformer uh, designers <laughs> um, uh, an idea of what and what not to do. I don't know. Point is, though, there hasn't been a um, uh, 2D Mario game for a while, and to be frank, uh, with Mario Maker, I don't think they need to make one because people will just be obsessively playing that instead. I honestly just, I, I'm, all, I'm also honestly like not looking for one just yet. Honestly, I, the only thing I really want out of Nintendo at this point when it comes to a platform of Mario game is, just, is to just put 3D World on the Switch. I feel like it would be kind of tricky to um, uh, do as well because there's a few things that require um, uh, motion controls with the gamepad. And touchscreen controls, but they could just edit that. With, um, uh, they could probably make it um, uh, like you need to point, point it at the screen with the um, uh, uh, Joy-Cons. <laughs> that was the last hit. <sighs> Painful. I guess, to be fair, Wendy's always been, like, one of the roughest uh, Koopalings to me to fight without losing a power-up. I think it even took me a few tries when I was doing the hammer run. <sighs> yeah, because I don't remember ending it off with a fuck you, Wendy. 
Well, ended off the first section there, because I think what I did was I played it alongside Cluedo. It's like, yeah, I was finishing off the um, uh, maps on Cluedo, and then I went straight to Mario 3. I can't remember if that was something I planned, or if that was just 100% on the fly. I know the challenge run itself was completely improvised. Because I was just messing around with the power-ups, and I wanted to keep the hammer suit as long as I could. Then I was just like, screw it, make a challenge out of it. Which was also the origin to um, uh, this. So I thought to myself, would I like to try challenges with other power-ups? To be fair, if I wanted to, I could do a run with a Tanuki suit, a Fire Flower, and a Raccoon Leaf. But I, well, I feel like those three... Probably wouldn't be that entertaining because the Tanuki suit is just a powered up raccoon leaf. They expect you to use the raccoon leaf in a few areas, hence why there are some stages that are impossible to do it about it. And the fire flower is a damn fire flower. It's possibly the, the most practical power up in the entire series because of its utility. It has no downsides. Ooh, that was close. Okay, on the plus side, she won't fuck. On the plus side, she won't throw any more than than the. She won't throw any more until I hit her. Now I'm in concentration mode. Boss doesn't have them starting to get an itchy nose. I also like this that I can just um uh, uh um gravitate. Uh, sorry, a uh, float up. Uh, Floats along an edge just because I, just because my hands or the tip of my feet are um, uh, touching the sides. Fuck's sake! That that was impossible for me to get out of. Again, I'm not using a save state before the pipe. That's cheating. If I get 99 coins, no, I don't think that'll activate another coin ship because it's not a regular stage, it's an airship. Although, it's funny, I've only started calling them an airship recently, like about a year ago. Maybe a little more because I'm so. Because here's the thing, like, I, I'm sure a lot of you who grew up with Super Mario Bros. Fuck's sake! might have also grown up with the cartoon. And in the Super Mario Bros. 3 cartoon, it was called the Doom Ship. Well, to be fair, there was just one. There wasn't eight. So it could be that I'm, uh... No, no, mind. I'm, uh... But yeah, I've just been so used to calling, calling the Doom Ship because I'm, uh... And here's the thing, though. Like, with um, NES and SNES games... That didn't have like a story to them, like it was just, like it was just plug in and go. You didn't really get much context in the game, especially if you didn't have the instruction manual. So um, uh, I was, it's like I I always used the um uh, cartoon as a reference to what the, and to what the characters, the locales, and such were like. But I also had, like, absolutely no no problems switching between um, uh, their cartoon names and their game names. Because, like, um, uh, f for example, um, L L uh, Ludwig is called Kooky in the cartoon. 
I can literally switch between the two names, no problem. Yep. Okay, this does it, this does it. Ah, crap! <sighs> Patience wearing a little thin here. I agreed to um, uh, do this frog suit run. I said I was going to do it. And I'm not backing down. <laughs> I might end this stream a little earlier just so I don't have to do it anymore, but I'm, uh... <laughs> now I'm just messing. I I'm going to try and go the whole three hours. Although, I think the takeaway from this is that the levels are just going to get harder. And this is the water level where I had a significant advantage. Because I could fucking swim. I'm also learning to take out those rocky wrenches before they throw their wrenches. When I'm trying to get into the damn pipe. Okay, for to throw. Come on up. And she turns around. Jump over that. She throws another one. And jump over. Right, there goes the third one. And got it! Oh, finally. Also, was I, was I the only one who thought that guy looked like Fred Flintstone? Well, I guess to be fair, people would probably think he looked like Mario, but I always thought he looked like Fred Flintstone. Oh wait, just realized what that music box might have did. Okay, no, we're good. Well, I'm gonna use it anyway. To be fair, this does t these tunnels do count as a stage. All right, S start sending the safe states because I don't want to go through Wendy's airship again. <laughs> oh, that was rough. Yeah, in all honesty, though, I do genuinely enjoy Giant Mind. I feel like most kids did who played this for the first time, and I'm willing to bet it's just because of how lovingly detailed the sprites are. Not to mention it's kind of a cool concept that kind of gets some uh, overused in some Mario games these days. Always associated with the jungle aesthetic as well. Like, no joke, you look at the new series and anytime there's a jungle slash forest level, that's normally where they keep the giant enemies. Which always made me believe that um, uh, giant land is primarily jungle. Which is why, if I ever, like, make a Mario game on the RPG Maker, I think that's what I would do as well. Like, make Giant Land a jungle. And nice, got a free up. That's not going to go higher than 99, is it? Oh, it's two up. Oh, no. Two up is a mushroom. Free up is five flower. Star is five up. Also, did that music box... Uh, uh, did going through the pipes twice take away the music box? Oh. I'm going to need to start dump getting rid of these anyway. Oh, neat. Didn't think I could do it with the big shells. Shit. Go back to sleep. So, 
Yeah, that's a raccoon leaf. Alright. Uh, float away. Alright. Well, what do you think about it? Peace switches must have a mess with the economy. Actually, I think MatPat did a theory on that, on just how valuable gold coins are in the Mario series. Look at the incredibly large amounts of coins you find these days. I imagine not that. I imagine they're not worth that much because it's just how plentiful there are. Because that's kind of the rule. On, that's kind of the rule on a the rule on economy. The more money there is, the less things are worth to balance it out. The less money there is, the more things are worth. Oh, right, Sledge Bros. Okay, and... Damn it. Sorry, I'm coming. They were a lot easier to handle with the frog suit. No, hammer suit. Shit, this is going to take a while. Might be a bad idea for me to just try and get under him. Easy does it, easy does it, easy does it, easy does it. And, nope. All that. That works too. Alright, yeah. Not gonna lie, thought that was gonna hit me. Okay. Easy does it! Okay. Besides the sledge, bro, that wasn't that bad. Alright. Actually, I should, probably, I should probably pick a fight with these guys, because I think one of them has a skip cloud. Oh, that's what stars are for. Nice, exactly what I needed. Oh, sorry. Fell that out. Okay. Uh... All right. Sideways swamps and the potobos. Uh, not potobos. Oh shit. This is actually impossible. Yeah, I can't slide onto that. So, like it or not, I have to use a skip cloud. It's a good thing I got that one from the from the sludge bro. I don't know how many stages in, that are impossible to do with the frog suit are. Hopefully I have enough skip clouds to settle all of it. Right now. Move it down, move it down. I don't often bring a frog suit uh, with me in Giant Land, so... Down, 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 down. See, the idea is that you're supposed to um, uh, not break them so you can get as many coins as you can. So there's a P switch here and a P switch here. Alright, let's use this one first. Ah! ah.
I don't know why I'm collecting these coins. It's just I want to. I'm a greedy bastard. Also, it's kind of not often I come I come to this area because, like I said, I don't often bring a frog suit with me in Giant Land. I'm normally I've normally got a Tanuki suit. Right, Lega two. Come on, I don't mean any harm to you. Are we bros, right? No, I guess not. <laughs> Can I just say that would actually be a, a pretty interesting um, uh, Flash game, where you have to play as a Legatu dropping spinies on Mario. I reckon that, that would actually—I reckon that would actually be, be pretty neat. Alright, let's see how I fare against this sludge bro. I probably should have had a star, but these aren't that bad. It's just timing. Oh, nice. In for a frog suit, out with, out with a pound. Out of a star. <laughs> I screwed up my joke again. Eh, uh, wouldn't be the first time. So what have you got? Pain. That's what you've got. Yeah, I got a star from this, so... I could have done that without that. But it's probably a good, a good idea for me to take out every hammer, bro, in case they have a skip cloud. Oh, uh, which one of these was easier? I think it's this one? Uh, yeah, I think, I think this is the one where you um, uh, swap between big and small. Yeah. Oh! That was a close one. Uh, actually, it probably would be worth from um, uh, me making this small just so it could be easier for me to navigate through. Also, I said I wasn't going to cheat by using save states in the middle of a stage, but I definitely did not say anything about this. Oh, that was close. Ah. Hey, I are you? <laughs> the noises I make trying to avoid getting hit in this game are just bizarre. All right, so like it or not, I have to take out that that fortress, and I'm hoping this isn't one that's impossible to do. With a frog suit. Otherwise, this isn't going to be good. I think, I think this is doable. Oh, ho, ho, thought I wasn't going to make that. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Just wait for these guys to pass. Up. Oh yeah, no problem. All right. Session. Hopefully this will go a bit smoother than, than Wendy's one, although I doubt it. Actually, I think this is Lemmy's with the ball. So this might not be too bad. Because the majority of Lemmy's attacks stay on the ground. So I reckon the biggest challenge will be I'm uh, just trying to just trying to keep my frog suit for the majority of this airship ride. Okay. And 
screwed. Nah. Oh, nearly. Well, at least I'm not screwed. Whoop. Almost was by slipping down that gap. Actually, I think down here might have been a bit safer anyway, because it would avoid the rocky wrench. Yeah, I think staying down would be better, because I'd rather avoid any more confrontations with rocky wrenches. Because, as I've mentioned before, in... I can't remember which game. I think it was uh, when I did the Hammer Run challenge in Mario 3. There isn't necessarily an enemy I dislike. I feel like the only times I would actually dislike an enemy is depending on the game they're in. It's like in this case, I suppose I don't really like Rocky Wrenches because of how TD. Because of. Well, all the fact that they constantly respawn. But at the same time, though, I don't consider that. Like. Sorry, but at the same time, I don't necessarily hate him for that because it's not. I wouldn't say it's bad design. Because they're designed to offer a challenge in some way. And Rocky Wrenches are easier to avoid than Hammer Bros. Because they're only in one location and they can only throw their wrenches in a specific manner. Which is straightforward, whereas um, uh, Hammer Bros tend to, like, wall you with the um, uh, hammers. By constantly throwing them down and then jumping between one, up, uh, uh, sorry, I'm uh, between one um, uh, platform to the next. So again, I don't really dislike them because um, they're not badly designed enemies. Again, if there was any enemy I had to say I disliked, it would probably be bloopers. Because underwater seg segments are kind of a hassle to get through. And the bloopers are just so sporadic. But at the same time, I don't really dislike them because there are ways to get around them. That's gonna be tight. Might be a good idea for me to try and see if I can get to the top and just try to walk over it. reason I haven't been able to make that is because it, it, it's because it's technically not a platform yet until a little further in. Shit. That's that's one of my, one of my biggest gripes with the frog because he hops instead of walks. It's very easy to walk into trouble. Well, to hop into trouble. Okay. 
No, I'm just not making it. Oh, it's sort of best I, I got down here anyway to, to again avoid the rocky wrench. Not to mention I'm uh oh. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna say actually, never mind. Feedback looks fine. I accidentally changed the size of the game window. I'm only by a fraction, but I thought that might have been enough to be noticeable, but it seems to be fine. Alright. Maybe I should actually try to go to the upper path this time. <laughs> and that still never ceases to amuse me. Yeah, maybe I should try. Uh, yes! Alright, so maybe dealing with the rock wrench won't be that bad since I can just keep taking them out. Alright, where are you, Rocky? Adrian. I know the joke regarding that, but like I said, I've, I've, I haven't seen a Rocky movie. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm sure they're great movies, but... Sorry. I mean, this day and age, I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I would actually get an enjoyment out of it. Right now, the... Shit. Right now, the only old movie I'd like to see is Murder on the Orient Express. Like the original, not the remake. And I have a good reason for that. Um, as someone who likes both murder mysteries and trains, like this is something I've wanted to see. And I have a bit of a, I have a bit more of a liking for classic movies. Like old classic movies. Like not something like 80s and 90s, like earlier, like 60s. I guess it's because, like, I'm in this day and age where the majority of um, uh, movies often use, like, green screens, wires, and all sorts of special effects to, um, uh, it, it feels like, in some cases, actors, um, uh, kind of get it off a bit easier than, than they used to. I'm not saying that they don't. Like, I'm sure that, um, uh, I'm sure that people like Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, uh, and all the other people that I'm going to do the Marvel stuff. Like, it must be a really hard job. And, um, uh, the, and the CG is just there for the sake of, um, uh, of the special backdrops. Because let's be real, if you were to actually have a city being blown up or, or like, destroyed dur during that big epic fight, that would cost a lot. I'm not against the whole green screen things, because like if if you need to do something spectacular, then by all means go for it. And... Not gonna make it. Not gonna make it. Nope, didn't make it. Might be able to if I am. Uh... <sighs> I don't think I would have made that anyway. This is possible to do. Like I know that for a fact. I just need to. Figure it out. Whew. 
I think the absolute worst part of all this is, is the fact that even if this is impossible for the frog suit, um, uh, well, I guess to be fair, if it's impossible for, for the frog suit, then I'll just have to beat it normally. And then I'm, uh, put on the other frog suit I got, so it's a good thing I got that. Oh, wait, didn't I get rid of it? Yeah, I think I got rid of it when I, am uh, uh, when I did the coin ship. I'm definitely going to need to check later. I do not like how uncomfortably close I have to get to those damn flames. Oh, I just... I just thought about some, uh, I just thought the hardest airship level in the game in World 8 was super fast small ships. That's going to be hell. That's going to be absolutely hell. Again, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Because, like, uh, no, I can't make that. Because, like, thinking about it... I need to focus it, but I'm also going to be stupid quick. Oh! <laughs> no, if I lose to this, I'm not going to be happy. Oh no, it's Iggy! Oh! No, no, no! Fuck! Fuck me, fuck, fuck me, 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 fuck me. <laughs> Shit. Okay. No, I don't have a spare frog suit. Well, on the plus side, at least I... Uh, this is possible to do with a frog suit, at least. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Oh. I believe that I, I believe that's the Oxford Dictionary de Dictionary definition of <sighs> so close yet so far, as well as Sod's Law, as well as Fuck You Iggy. <laughs> Lemmy's ice. No. So let's see. Uh, Larry's grass, Morton's desert, Wendy's water, Iggy's giant. Uh, Roy must be sky. Uh, Lemmy is ice, and Ludwig is pipe. Yeah, that's it. So. Roy's going to be pretty rough since he can um, uh, create small earthquakes. But I'm, uh, should be fine otherwise. Um, Ludwig can also create earthquakes as well, but then again, he's supposed to be like the the leader and the strongest of the Koopalings. Okay, easy does it, easy does it. Okay, so when that goes, jump over! Okay, wait for the two flames to pass. There we go. Right, round two, Iggy. This is the most sweary I've ever been in. It's a fucking Mario game. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad my mum can't hear me.
I know some people might not like hearing me swear, and some people, some people just don't like twitching his swearing in general, but it's just something that's natural to me at this point. <laughs> that never gets old, honestly. That, that doesn't help us that I've been surrounded by people who swear all the time like for those who don't know like like my, my friend Daniel um, who you might know from the um, uh, Terraria streams um, uh, he's pretty damn vulgar like he says some pretty worse things than I've ever said I'm not gonna list them because I don't want to um, uh, well, it's mostly because I don't feel like um, uh, he would appreciate that. It's like, it's important to be careful what you say about other people online. You know, unless it's politicians, because, you know, fuck them. Okay. Do I to go away? Jump over. Shit! I knew that was going to happen at least once. Now watch, that's not going to stop happening. Like, no joke, I'm actually starting to feel quite hungry. Oh, sorry. 